What is going on guys, Fritz here, and this is episode 4 of Road to Be a Boss Editor, and I'm just going to warn you right now, this is probably going to be the hardest episode I do, and um, I know it's only 4, and most of you guys still don't even know what you're doing, but you need to get the hang of syncing, and that's what this is, syncing and After Effects, a kill feed to music, and if you, like, I know a lot, like the mistake I made, and uh, a lot of other a lot of other editors make is that they can do trick shot editing and they can't do feed editing because they don't know how. So this is actually like you know a very good universal tutorial and I think it's going to help out a lot of people. So I've already imported my clips which you guys know how to do. If you by the way if you're new to the series you're just watching this episode now um, you can actually click down below where there's like a little logo I don't know it's like down somewhere I literally just pointed in real life but it's down there somewhere click on the picture that says road to be an editor and um use that so I have my uh, song right here and um, you can see it links in the description there we go so there it is and already I know I'm gonna have to move it back and I can just click and drag and I can bring my cursor to the beginning and I can see okay it's not all the way back yet there we go it should be good alright so now first step is you need to go over to click on this arrow right here click on audio and then go down to waveform and we can see there's all the beats every time you see you see, oh goodness me goodness gracious there we go sorry about that um every time you see a light like this or the light i mean uh, a beat you can see how it kind of waves up that is something where we're going to want to shoot so i've already listened to the song and um it's a very good song and it's very easy to be able to recognize where all the beats are and you need to be able to do that there's another way which I'll make, no, I'll make a follow up video on it because this is going to be long I can already tell but that's it so you can see the beats right now and um, that's it another quick way to do it is you can actually listen to it and on Windows 7 or whatever computer you're on you can check you go up to layer and then you can actually see add marker see how it says numpad in the, like, the little marking thing you can actually listen to your song and every time you hit that number pad thing which is like that little star it makes a mark and you can do it on your audio so that way every time there's a beat you can listen to it and hit it do whatever you want that's it it'll make a little mark for you and that way you can sync your shots that way and it's a lot easier but for the time being um, I would just make a mark right here because I know that's that's a shot and um, I'm going to listen to it real quick and I'll find another shot. And you want to bring your shots on beats 2 and 4 if it's a 4-4 four, four time. And for those of you who don't know what that means, um, in a bass and drum song, it'll be like boom, ch, boom, ch. I find it's a lot easier to go on the ch. And typically it's like, you know, on beat 2 and then beat 4. And if that's confusing, just every time you hear like a ch or like a ch or something like higher pitch, that's when you're going to want to go. So we're going to do a RAM preview. Just click here and I'm going to find the other snare shots or um, beats 2 and 4. So so it's little. there's a little much in this song, but I'm going to do a shot here, a shot here, and then roughly the same distance. I can see that right here there's a shot. And this is all trial and error. You just got to find it. So there you go. I've got four shots, and um, there's about four shots. It's a quad feed. And um, I'm going to do another one just because, you know, just in case. So there you go. So I got my markers. I know that's where my shots need to go. And it's very rough. You know, I'm not spending too much time on this. But that's it. So now I'm actually going to split the beginning of this. And you can hit Alt and then that thing because we don't need the whole thing. And then you drag. Your markers will follow with you, which is nice. Okay, so now I'm going to bring my clip on. I got a quad feed by Sync Tekka. What a beast. And um, there we go. So it's you can see how it's frozen for the most part. And then, oh shoot, we're not even ready to start yet. Actually, you know what we are? That's actually pretty good timing. But we actually want, we're going to make this a little bit nicer. So we've got it frozen and we don't want that frozenness. So we're going to go find where he starts moving. Which is like, any, right there. Okay, so he starts moving right here. And um, I'm actually going to completely get rid of that whole part because he's not moving. Um, right here, you'll see this thing. It says Enable Frame Blending. Click on that. That way it makes it so you don't need to use other effects called like Twixter and it will do it all for you. So make sure that is selected. Okay, so now I'm going to go to where the shot is. And he looks, the flash of the muzzle is right there. So I'm going to hit Control Shift D to split it just like that. And um, that's basically it for this part. So now I'm going to bring my cursor to the very beginning. So there we go, right here. 
and uh, he shoots right there. So that's when we need the B to go. But now we've got this to worry about. And actually, I can split my song a little bit more just because we don't need that whole thing going. Oh, shoot. We don't need that whole thing going. I just zoomed out. If you do that same thing, just use your cursor to zoom back in. And um, I'm actually just going to drag everything back. And you, you can, if you hit shift, and you can actually do all of it, all of them at the same time. So back to the uh, thinking. So we got this black screen right there, and obviously you're th you're thinking, okay, well we should make this in slow motion, and then the shot goes. So how we how do we do that? Well, make sure that layer is selected. So just that one is highlighted. Then go up to layer, time, enable time remapping, and you're gonna get this thing here. So right here, right on the last part of it, you're gonna hit on this keyframe button right here. And then you're also going to go to the beginning and hit a keyframe there. So you've got one at the very end and one at the one at the, uh, the beginning. So now I'm going to bring this over to the beginning and drag the keyframe along with it. So that way it goes in slow motion, slow motion, and it's all perfectly synced up. So now if we listen to it, and I'm actually going to put the music in the background so you can you know what I'm talking about. It's slow motion when it goes, and um, we'll do it one more time, just so you can see and get an idea. So that's it. It starts right at the song. It's like boom. So now we are gonna want to put a marking right here, cause this is another beat. And if your markings aren't on, or actually that one's pretty good. So right here we've got another um, another beat, and we have no sniper shot anywhere in sight. So we got to go find one. So he shoots right here okay so he shoots right there because you can see that's when the hit marker first starts split the clip control shift and then D but what the heck is this we've got all this area we need to get rid of okay well that's n no big deal we actually we can get rid of that pretty easily so we need this whole thing so we can't do very much dragging or anything so again um, make sure that split is selected and go to layer time time remapping and uh, make your keyframe at the end and then at the beginning just like I just did now and then drag the end to the marking so it's right on the dot right there and uh, you can double check by using this thing down here to zoom in so it is and then as usual bring the keyframe right along with it and then just bring everything all together just like that so now we're gonna watch it again RAM preview and this is gonna go fast and this is really an, like an extreme like here this isn't like I'm not making this so right there you can see it goes boom bow right there so it's perfectly synced and I'll do one more just so you guys can see and I'm gonna go slow for this next one and um, I'm actually gonna stretch it stretch it out and uh, make it so this this one I'll make longer so right there he shoots get the hit mark shot right there you can see the bullet so split the clip control shift D and bring the shot over to the marker that we made earlier and now we've got this extra area just make sure it's highlighted go to layer time enable time remapping and then go to the very end right, right there make your keyframe go to the very beginning which is right here make a keyframe drag your clip out longer and drag your keyframe with it and then you can double check to make sure it's all lined up properly which it is because there's no like area in between the two layers and that way if we do a ram preview you can see it makes the shot and this is actually going to be slightly slower than normal and he's going to run over here and then right on the dot boom so we're gonna watch right now. It's like or something like that, and I don't think you guys can hear the music, but that's it. That's the simplest way for me to explain syncing for you guys. And um, just a quick, you know, I'll do a review real quick. You uh, go on your layer, split right where the shot is made. So let's say it's made right here split it control shift D and then go to the layer below it where um, you need to sync it so it leads up to it and uh, click on the layer go up to time under layer up here time enable time remapping 
go to the very last frame in that layer, add a, add a marker by or a keyframe by hitting there, go to the very beginning, which is right here, add a keyframe right there, and then you use your markers that you made to drag the clip, the bottom one with the time remapping on, bring the actual length of it down, and break the keyframe with it so it changes the speed and then just bring the reactual shot is made over to it so if we watch it if we were to watch it over with sound I'll actually render this out so you guys can see it what we just made and it's like dun 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 boom and then it's good and I apologize for that pixelation cuz I didn't do a pre-render cuz I'm a bad boy so do a quick pre-render right now and there we go it's pre-rendering boom so now we're going to watch it over it's like that shot and then shot and then it's perfect so that syncing 101 if you guys don't get it watch the video over again pause it any time you need to simple as simple as that I guess and uh, if you have any questions or if you guys need like a one-on-one -on -one lesson add me on Skype editing.force and I'll put it in the description of the video if um, I'll help you out to the best I can so I'm Fritz and I hope you guys enjoyed and are a little bit better syncers bye